Bonjour, ni hao. Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a Trader Joe's video. So I know you're probably thinking, Trader Joe's video? What? And um, this is kind of a magic mail video because our friend Tori over at Wildest Graham in the Wilderness sent us this box. Um, so big thank you to Tori. Check her out. She's amazing. Um, we talk every day. She's like one of my close friends. And she was saying how like she goes to Trader Joe's all the time and like everything's amazing. They have like awesome seasonal snacks. And I'm like, I've never been. Like there aren't really any that were close enough for me to get to. Like, we literally live across the street from a Jewel. There's a Target. We have another local grocery store a block away like within, whole foods yes. like all within walking distance yeah. so like trader joe's is something that we never really wanted to like make the trek for with what we don't really know is there he's i think went there a couple times yeah i used to go to trader joe's especially back home in michigan a lot and uh, there was one by one of my older offices that i went to a little bit more so i would get a lot of their like snack food for meetings like if i needed to do like meeting food and stuff i'd be like oh we're gonna trader joe's and pick up some stuff but because we are in shelter in place advisories and we're not going anywhere <laughs> like our radius is literally limited to what <laughs> is walking distance in our area and neighborhood it's also because I think a lot of people forget too that like Tim and I live in like an urban city. Like we are literally like in a metropolitan city and I don't think it is because to me the city is like the loop downtown area mm -hmm. with like the tall buildings mm -hmm. and like where we live is like the city but it's like not the city, it's like a neighborhood but I've had friends from visit that are like, no, you live in a city. Yeah, and I we like, do. Yeah. I always forget Like it, we're not on the edge where it's like almost suburbs we're like city city yeah like downtown like by cubs Ridge blocks Field away from wrigley too yeah yeah but yeah like i've said i've never been to trader joe's i don't know what it offers and i haven't been yeah years. so i want to get in and see what tori did so she gave us this massive box which is already too much i can tell and she does have a card on top that says game Bowls. And she did send this with a couple of pin trades um, that we'll probably open up in a different video. Aw, it's Alice in Wonderland. It's the tea party with the March Hare and the Mad Hatter and the other guy. Game Boys try Trader Joe's. <laughs> Bonjour, ni hao. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. <laughs> Meow. Oh my gosh, I have to show this. <laughs> Literally, that is what we just did. We Except Tati's not here. Aw, look at me! <laughs> and that's Tim! Why do I look like Cynthia Pickle? <laughs> I have like no hair! <laughs> <laughs> the shade is real. Oh, hi Tim and John. When Tim told me he had never been to Trader Joe's, I knew that needed to change ASAP. Unfortunately, with the pandemic, we can't shop together, so I decided to bring Trader Joe's to you. Yeah. Thank you. These are mostly seasonal items. Ooh, I love seasonal items. Uh, but they're ones I love. Uh, so this is like Tori's favorite things. Hope this box brings a smile to your face that already has. Happy fall and enjoy the snacks. Much love, Tori. P.S. You know I didn't forget Tati. Aww. Aww. She is queen. So Thank nice. you, Tori. Alright, so when I first open it up... Oh, I do see that thing for Tati right away. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's a Trader Joe's advent calendar for cats. She's gonna live. And this is something fun that we could do for her daily. Oh, that is cute. How cute. We don't really do advent calendars as much as we want to. But this is going to be just so fun for Tati. And when she's going to be chomping, 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 she's going to be like, thanks, Tori. And she, it's salmon and, and sea. She yeah, loves she seafood She only flavors. likes, like, fishy. Um... That's we are gonna so have to nice. put that on our Instagram because I feel like if like it's gonna be <laughs> cute with her. And if you're not following us on Instagram, be sure to check out our handles below. Yes. So I see a couple other things. Um, I guess savory first. Yeah, oh. we could start with the chips. So this one is organic jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. Ooh, and it has some corn. I don't remember eating corn. <laughs> This looks yummy. It says it's crunch bag of pillowy puffiness. It's made out of quinoa? 
Yeah. Oh wow. And garlic. Spice. Ooh, that smells good. Smell it. Oh wow. <laughs> I just was gonna eat that. Shocker. If you haven't seen, we did do another video where we tried treats from Canada. We'll link that above and below, but chomp, chomp, chomp over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, these, these have a nice flavor. They're very, and like, it like finishes nice. They taste like Funyuns, mm -hmm. but like more spicy. These are good. See here, do you want for seconds? <laughs> I like these a lot. It has a nice kick towards the end. Yeah. Ooh, which is kind of a lot. A little bit hot. <laughs> Pro tip, if your mouth has hot food in it and you want to cool it down, don't drink water. Water only spreads the heat. Drink milk or have a piece of bread. <laughs> so those are going to be yummy to eat on a lovely December night. All right, the next. Ooh, I'll do this. Thanksgiving stuffing seasoned kettle chips. Ooh. Ooh. Flavors of the classic holiday dish in each potato chip. Thanksgiving stuffing seasoned. What? Potato chip chips that taste like what? Have we absolutely lost our minds? Entirely possible. Alright. Alright. I love how I like reaching like it's a blind bag. No, it's, it's just chips. I always smell things first. Is that weird? No, it's Does like, anyone else do that? Let me know down below. <laughs> Literally, I have to smell everything. Oh my god, it does smell like... It smells like gravy or like the stuffing. Oh, it's warm. Do you remember in Willy Wonka when she had the thing that like was a whole Thanksgiving meal in her... Or, the gum. Like the gum. It's very... Like, interesting, like, that... Yeah, it, you're getting a lot of flavors blasted at you. I don't know what I feel about that. <laughs> I don't like it. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> <laughs> I have to try to it's figure... It's good, but it, it almost feels like when you're at, like, Thanksgiving and, like, your food touches and you, like, eat different items together... That does actually taste like everything mixed into one. Okay, I think he likes it, because that's his like fourth grab. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I do like that, but I don't know yet. <laughs> and I'm eating until I figure out what my feeling is. <laughs> They're interesting, but I would say like, yeah, I would eat these maybe like this week so we feel like we're having a Thanksgiving dinner, even though we're not this year. I guess it's not, it's it's supposed to taste like Thanksgiving stuffing. Yeah. It definitely the tastes like stuffing. The aftertaste definitely tastes like that. I don't know if I could eat all as I, uh-oh. Oh, I think Tati is smelling her advent calendar. Hi, baby. Look, Tori gave you a present. Tati, come here. She's into it. So you're going to have a nice little game to play every day. She's into it. <laughs> Say hi, Tati. Say thank you to Tori. <laughs> I actually do like these. The more and more I eat, like, the cinnamon, yeah, I like... It has a nice aftertaste. I like these more than the corn puffs, if I had to pick between the two already. So I far, like, this is, this like is on my... So she did, there are more chips, but she did actually include some beverages, which she told us to um, look for this and put it in the fridge. So it is cold. These are the Honeycrisp Apple Juice Beverage. And it comes with four in there. So it just kind of like, it looks like a Red Bull can. And there are only, oh, there's only 100 calories per can. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And only 21 grams of sugar, but that's from the apples. Included added sugar, zero. All right, cheers. Jules. Is it carbonated? No, it's juice, right? Oh, it smells good. Oh. <laughs> it's carbonated. <laughs> we did the same thing. This is really good. It does taste like apple juice. Oh, this is good. This is like when my parents used to like go wine tasting. They used to give me like sparkling juice. That's mm -hmm. what this is. It is very sparkling. I like this a lot. Oh, it says sparkling on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is really good. This is Yummy. fresh. That is crisp. Oh my god, Tati literally is smelling the advent calendar. She could smell. She's through just it. like rubbing. Tati, her head it's not December it. yet. <laughs> She's pissed. All right, should we stick with the savory? Yes. Chips? All right. These are ridge cut potato chips seasoned with horseradish and chives. Ooh. Oh goodness. These are hitting like all of like your parents. Yeah. <laughs> A chives, garlic. All right. Tori, all of the snacks. And I, it's like dinner-ish time and I didn't eat lunch, so like, I'm super hungry. Oh, you can smell the chives. Oh, that's strong. Oh. Tastes like mayonnaise, kind of. It's definitely though they almost it almost Oh that's the horseradish sauce. Yeah. It almost like reminds me of like a wasabi peas. Have you ever gotten like those like wasabi uh, cashews or wasabi peas? Like that's what this tastes like. But it's good. Here we go. <laughs> oh Tati. Tati and I got a stitch one go. Um I still like the Thanksgiving stuffing ones better. The first one's my favorite still. But these are good. So looking around and wrapping, there are actually some little seasoning things that I don't think we can try right now, but we'll definitely use this. Oh wow, this is a everything but a low tie. Every, every, everything but I don't know what that word is. Sprinkle this container on, and on a basic corn cob takes an incredible turn. A roasted corn cob, a little butter, a little mayo. Sprinkle, sprinkle, a low tie. It's also great on other meats. And vegetables. So you can do it's like a rub. Oh, I can't wait to try this. This is vegan chickenless seasoning salt. This little shaker delivers big flavors with its comforting combination of warm and savory spices. For delicious, full flavor, add to soups, ooh, salads and broth and vegetables, wherever you want a little something extra. This is perfect for fall cooking. Ooh, I love this. I actually have gotten this before. I think from actually my parents. Is that the everything baby? Yeah. Yeah, we like that. This is I put this on a plain bagel with cream cheese. I put this in salads. Like, this is like, I love adding a little extra crunch to stuff, and this seasoning is so good. And then she put in some Spectulous Crunchy Cookie Butter Spread. I was like, peanut butter spread, but it's just butter. Nut spread. butter? Nut butter. <laughs> Nut butter? It, it blends nuts. <laughs> I remember I, when we first got our Vitamix, I was so excited to make oh, nut butters. Good. I like was like, let's make all of the nut butters. And then that wore thin very quickly, but I still enjoy a good nut butter every now and then. Smell it. It smells good. Oh, it smells like a candle. It says deliciously unusual with crushed Belgium biscuits and the warm flavors of holiday spice. So how does bread. it say you're supposed to serve it? It does smell like gingerbread, actually. It's basically like a spread. So Jenny grabs some crackers. There's a try. I don't know if it would be better with a cookie. Oh, that's good. It really tastes like gingerbread. Yeah, you don't even need a cracker. I would just put a spoon in that and then like it. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> or if you had like a cookie, like a like a ooh. Oh my you god, this does taste like those really good. Like Christmas cookies. Right? Like if you had like a vanilla wafer or something, like a cookie to dip mm -hmm. into that, or like if you, you know what would be really good? If you got like a generic sugar cookie and then use this as a yeah. spread and then added sprinkles on top. This is almost like frosting. This is delicious. I, I'm not even eating the cracker. I'm just eating the. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, Tim, I'm, I, so are you saying that I might need to go drive the car to a Trader <laughs> Joe's to pick some of this stuff up? <laughs> you might have to. Mmm. That is delicious. And this is a product of the Netherlands. Good. That is might be my favorite thing so far in this box. Oh, for sure. That is so good. That's so good. So we do have some salty honey toffee milk chocolate covered crackers. So these look good. Very toffee looking. Yeah, it is kind of big. Actually, I'll just take a bite. Mm. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, these are good too. They're not really crackers. I don't know why it says crackers on there. No. It's kind of like a cookie. But like, it's almost like an, the way I would describe that to someone is it's like almost like a deconstructed or an open faced candy bar. Mm -hmm. Like if you didn't know that that was a cracker, air quote, like I would just say that's like a, like a rectangle candy bar. You know what I mean? It actually kind of reminds me of Samoa's, the Girl Scout cookies. Like that, we had to split that because that is very rich. It's so bad though. I feel like that but not by that, but we are good. Mm -hmm. He's more of like the salty, like snacks, chips, crackers, all that. I'm more of the like dessert, sweet yeah. tooth person. I love cheeses. I love like salty meats, like a cheese and a, a charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Now I'm getting full. All right. So next, oh, she did say that there was cake mix in here and we didn't, um, obviously have time to make it before this. But um, again, follow us on Instagram and we will show the finished product of this. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll have time to make this before the video posts, but these are gingerbread cake mix. I wonder if you could put that spread on there. <gasps> I, I, that spread should go on everything. It's so good. So it says with crystallized ginger pieces. Ooh, this looks delicious. Yes, we can make like our own little gingerbread cake for the holidays. All right. And then the last thing in here is, oh, these look good. These are mini dark chocolate mint stars. Minty chocolate shortbread cookies and robed in dark chocolate. You think it's going to taste like a Thin Mint? Yeah, because she did ask me um, if I like Girl Scout cookies and like what my favorites are, and I told her Thin Mints, so... And yet you got a Thin Mint and a Samoa. You got all of the Girl Scout <laughs> cookies in one box. Mm. Oh. Oh, these are tiny. These I guess I'm gonna like these. All right. Oh yeah, it smells like it too already. It's like a cute little star. Mmm. These taste like Thin Man Girl Scout cookies. These are good. These are really good. <laughs> See? <laughs> Small. <laughs> oh. Popcorn. Like, food and boxes are like And these are like nicer because they're smaller. Yeah, you know what I mean? If you didn't want like the full cookie, which I don't know who wouldn't, but. Oh my god, a serving is only 13 cookies and a serving is only 130 calories. That's a good snack. So 10 calories per cookie, that's not bad. Into. Oh! This was good. Tori, mm -hmm. thank you. Yes, you have some really good taste. And you like strong flavors. I like that. Like mm -hmm. I like, And I don't think that normally Tim and I would have, even if we had some of this stuff at like our local grocery store, we would have, I would have purchased this or Tim would have. So I'm very excited that you Introduce introduce this today's because I might I'm like this oh. is gonna become like a new holiday staple so good Oh my gosh, I wonder if you melted it a little bit like if you warmed it up It's kind of like Nutella and like you warmed it up and like dipped into it <gasps> You know what would be good if we make homemade rice krispies and then we use oh. this on top of that rice krispies That's gonna be goals. That would be so good. Because to me we make our homemade rice krispies because we don't have the Disney ones anymore So we make those because they're super easy and then Timmy puts Nutella on some half of them, but like This is gonna be yes So you guys will have to let us know if you have a Trader Joe's in your area and what some of your favorite items to get there are and if you've tried any of this, um, let us know what you think. I would say my favorite, yeah, is obviously the, the nut butter or the gingerbread butter spread. Cookie butter spread, yeah. If I had to pair a, a flight together, a pairing, if I may, it'd be these two things. <laughs> yeah, so thank you again so much to Tori. Please check out her channel. She's awesome. She has a really great personality. Her videos are super fun. And she does a lot of the same content we do in terms of Disney and lifestyle related content, so. Yes. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We will have more little taste tests and we are doing Vlogmas. So there will be a lot of Disney content coming your way. We'll see you next time and have a very nice Thanksgiving. Take care and be well. Bye. Bye.